El Nino is a weather phenomenon that occurs when ocean temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean rise above normal. The warming causes changes in atmospheric patterns leading to a weakening of the monsoon circulation over the Indian subcontinent. As a result, the Indian monsoon tends to be weaker and less reliable during El Nino years. So why is it a concern for the monsoon rain? The Met Office has normal forecast rainfall this year. However, the likelihood of El Nino weather pattern developing during the June-September monsoon season raises the possibility of less than normal rain. In the past, India has experienced below average rainfall during most El Nino years, sometimes leading to severe drought that destroyed crops and forced the authorities to limit the export of some food grains. So at this juncture, it's quite relevant on our part to look at the monsoon and agriculture link up. The monsoon provides about 70% of the annual rain in India and impacts key crops such as rice, wheat, sugarcane, soya bean and peanuts. Agriculture contributes about 19% of India's 3.5 trillion economy and employs more than half of the population. Increased agriculture production could ease export restrictions on sugar, wheat and rice. Conversely, drought necessitates importing food and maintaining export restrictions. If we recall, in 2009, poor rains forced India to import sugar driving global prices to record highs. An analysis of India's specific episodes of El Nino years since 1956 reveals that food grain production declined in 57% of those events. 12 El Nino episodes in 38 years had led to 9.7% drop in normal rainfall and 5.7% fall in Kharif food grain production. This has affected entire agriculture sector, impacting the GDP growth of our country. This year, the World Meteorological Organization has stated that the probability of El Nino is developing and has increased from 15% in April-June to 35% in May to July, reaching significantly a higher likelihood of around 55% during June to August. Meanwhile, the Indian Med Department in its ENSO Bulletin has foreseen a sharp rise in the probability of El Nino developing during the southwest monsoon. The El Nino climatic pattern has been affecting the rainfall trends in India. Severe droughts have been accompanied by the El Nino events. The last major El Nino event was in 2015 when monsoon rainfall in India was 13% lower. Warming and droughts are major consequences of El Nino and it has been reported that at 1 degree centigrade rise in mean temperature, it would reduce yield of wheat, soya bean, mustard, groundnut and potato. El Nino reduced the global mean crop yield of wheat by 1.32% and rice by 1.33% and maize by 0.37%. As I have stated earlier, India's experience with El Nino has been associated with poor rainfall and droughts. El Nino affects the crops due to heat and drought stress. At the cellular level, as stress becomes severe, there is a loss of membrane integrity, cell membrane leakage and protein breakdown and finally, if stress is very severe, there can be plant starvation and collapse. In 2022, a heat wave coincided with the grain filling and development stage of wheat leading to yellowing and shriveling of the grain, forced maturity. This resulted reduction in yield 
up to 15 to 25 percent. In the case of vegetables, a significant impact was observed, especially in tomato and cucurbits. Higher body temperature and loss of appetite were observed in milk animals causing a reduction in milk yield up to 15%. The extreme temperatures resulted in a drop in egg production and increased broiler mortality. So as cautioned by World Med Department, if the El Nino impact spreads to India this year, then it may lead to deficient rainfall or drought like situation in India which may not only affect agricultural production adversely but may also correspond to lower GDP growth as there is an imminent threat of El Nino climate mitigation and reduction in vulnerability can help reducing the risk the national innovation on climate resilient agriculture launched in 2011 is a major initiative of the central government. Climate resilient technologies are being demonstrated in 151 risk prone districts of the country and promising technologies are being identified for each district. These technologies minimized the impact of the heat wave of 2022 and could achieve yields to the extent of 95 to 97 percent of the normal in case of wheat. The Indian Agriculture Research Institute has developed three heat resistant varieties that is HDCSW18, HD3410, HD3385 by incorporating genes that are responsible for the mild vernalization requirement preventing premature flowering. PBW 766 of Punjab Agricultural University has also been evaluated to prove a higher yield with a minimum reduction under heat stress. For rice, the International Rice Research Institute has developed drought tolerant varieties such as Sahabhagi, Sahabhagi Dhan in India, Sahod Ulan in the Philippines and Sukha Dhan in Nepal. The average yield advantage of drought tolerant varieties over drought susceptible ones is 0.8 to 1.2 ton per hectare. Assessment efforts require sustained international cooperation on monitoring and research so that we are well prepared with contingency plans through climate resilient technologies to mitigate the adverse impact on agricultural production. Hope the information is useful to you all. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.